What's up everybody? Great to see you back. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology again and today we shall discuss a very 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 funny story. It's not very funny but it's very important to know this funny story. All right, it is about Duryodhan and Yudhishthir. Once what happened, we will see that, okay? And yes, before I begin, as I always say, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will give you more stories like this to laugh. <laughs> okay, and if you're new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed, then please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation from me, then please approach me in my website below. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up and share it with your family, friends and loved ones. And if you want me to make any other video on any other topic, then please let me know in the comments. Yes, there are some topics which are there in my hit list. Number one is this second marriage, third marriage. <laughs> so many people want to know how many marriages they have uh, and uh, will they get married again after two or three divorces. So hang on, be patient. I will be making those videos. Okay. There you go. God is there. And now let's see. So we all know who is Yudhishthir Maharaj, right? If somebody doesn't know, then maybe you should watch my series on the Gita. Okay, so there Yudhishthir Maharaj is the eldest of the Pandavas in the Mahabharat, which is one of the two famous Indian epics, the Ramayana and the Mahabharat. And Mahabharat stretches from the dynasty of the great king Bharat. That is why it is known as Mahabharat, the story of the great king Bharat, his dynasty. Okay, the Mahabha word Mahabharat has many meanings. So that dynasty came to a fratricidal war, unfortunately, which headed in a war between the Kurus and the Pandavas. And this was because the righteousness, which is Dharma, had to be restored by Lord Krishna and that is why he personally arranged that everybody takes part in this war and all the miscreants, the demons, the demoniac people, the people who are on the side of irreligion, adharma, they are smashed to death, into powder, into pieces. And of course, then dharma was re-established. Yes. So therefore, Yudhishthir Maharaj is the eldest among the Pandavas who is on the side of dharma where Lord Krishna is personally there. And Duryodhana is on the side of Adharma. He is the leader of all the Adharmis. <laughs> if you call them Adharmis, then he is like the leader of the Adharmis. Okay. And then the Kauravas had to perish because they were on the side of irreligiosity. You know? They were on the side of evil. They were the culprits. Now, Yudhishthir Maharaj was destined to sit in the throne. But Duryodhana tried to assert the position of Yudhishthir by using devious means, by trying to kill the Pandavas time and again, trying to insult them, trying to insult their wife, Draupadi, in public, and so many other things about which I will not speak now. Duryodhana's greatness is endless. <laughs> if I start speaking about Duryodhana, Dushasana, Shakuni and Karana, these four great personalities, it will take me a lifetime, all right? So, some other day we will shoot them. <laughs> but today's topic is when they were in the Gurukul of Dronacharya. So, Dronacharya was the teacher of all the Kurus and the Pandavas. He was the son of the great sage Bharadwaj Rishi. And he was a disciple of the great Parshuram. Pitama Bhishma was also one of the god brothers of Dronacharya. God brothers means Guru Bhai. That means you have the same Guru. So, Pitama Bhishma, Ganga Putra was uh, also the disciple of Parshuram. He was the best, of course. So, now what happened? Once um, uh, this Pandavas, they are five in number. Yudhishthir is the eldest. Then we have Bhim, then Arjun, then Nakul and Saidev. And Kurus, the Kauravas are hundred in number headed by the eldest of them being named Duryodhana. <laughs> Duryodhana, my God. Some say that his name was Suyodhan, but <laughs> it became Duryodhan later on. Okay. Su means good and Dur means... Anyways, change the topic. So now what happened is, once the 
Kurus and the Pandavas, they were when they were very small in the in their uh, uh, you would call it a school or kindergarten maybe, <coughs> or you can call it college also. So they were in the ashram of the great sage Dronacharya. They were uh, learning different skills of military, of economics, politics, science, English, German. <laughs> All right, they were undergoing this uh, level of intricate trainings. <coughs> And everybody was specializing in some topic or the other. Yudhishthir was specializing in fighting with the spear. Bhala, as you say. Bhima was specializing in that uh, Gada, mace fight. Bhima and Duryodhana and Dushasana. And Arjuna was specializing in shooting arrows. And Nakul Sahadev were specializing in fighting with swords. So then what happened? One day, the Kauravas, alright, this hundred villains <laughs> so called villains so these villains they were always envious they were always jealous of the pandavas because they were almost always loved more by the others because they deserved to be loved all right not that people were partial because they were very loving very caring very respectful very kind very courteous they were always truthful they were always considerate and very sensitive yes and they were very obedient but the kurus they were not like that they many a times they behaved very arrogantly so and nobody likes arrogant people right so everybody would love the pandavas more than they would love the <coughs> kauravas okay so because of that the envy of the kurus started going up and one day they went to dronacharya and said that my dear king uh, dronacharya our my dear teacher we feel that you love Yudhishthir more than Duryodhan. Yes, this is partiality. This is wrong. You should not do this. <laughs> How come you favor one of your students more than the other? Guru should be equal, right? You should not uh, do partiality like this. And then Dhanacharya thought, <coughs> let me teach these fellows a lesson. And then Dronacharya said, Oh, you think that I love Yudhishthir more than uh, Duryodhana for no reason? Just like that. Yes, I love him more because he deserves to be loved. Yes. But I will prove it to you. So then the crews were very excited. Oh, let, we will also see na, how is Yudhishthir more worthy of being loved by our teacher. And that happens. If a, a student is exceptional, then the teacher will love the student. Yes, that's not partiality. That's reciprocation. That is reciprocating to somebody as per their interest in the subject. Yes. So people say that that's partiality. No, that's stupidity to say like that. That's not partiality. If a, if a student is very arrogant and he doesn't listen to the teacher, the teacher will naturally not like the student, right? Now, then what happened? Dronacharya thought, okay, let me teach them a lesson. So then Dronacharya said, my dear Yudhishthir, come here. And then he said, Duryodhana, come here. <laughs> and then he said to Yudhishthir, he gave Yudhishthir a pot, all right, and there was some food in that. Some said there was kheer, some said there was some water in that, some said there was some ghee. Different versions give different uh, stories regarding this, what was there in the pot. Anyways, that's not important. Then, he uh, gave another pot to Duryodhana. He said, Duryodhana, come here. And the same thing was there in this pot. All right. Then he told to Yudhishthir, my dear Yudhishthir, roam the entire world. All right. For some days. <laughs> and you go and give this pot, whatever was there in that, rice or ghee or whatever, water maybe. <laughs> go and give this pot to somebody who is inferior to you? As in Hindi, they say, na, gira hua, aap se zada gira hua. <laughs> gira hua, inferior means one who is not uh, having that much goodness as you have. Yes. And then he said to Duryodhana, my dear Duryodhana, what you do now? You go and give this spot to anybody who is, who you think is superior than you. All right. So should I repeat? Yudhishthir was told to give this pot to somebody who was inferior to him. And Duryodhana was told to give this pot to somebody who was superior to him. Alright. 
and then both of them went after some days they returned <laughs> and the funny thing is both of them had the pot in their hands and dronacharya asked yudhishthir dronacharya started smiling and then the kurus and the pandavas assembled they were also very excited to hear what did yudhishthir and duryodhana do with these pots but they were a bit apprehensive yeah, how come they are coming uh, without giving this pot to anybody so then dronacharya smiled he had understood what happened and then dronacharya said that so my dear yudhishthir why are you not empty handed why are you still with the pot why have you not given this pot to somebody who is inferior than you then yudhishthir said my dear guru maharaj i have traveled everywhere but i could not find anybody who is more inferior than me i am the most fallen i am the worst of all living beings living because wherever i see i see something good which they have that i don't have so everybody is superior to me yes and then dronacharya asked duryodhana so my dear duryodhana why is your hand still having this pot didn't you find anybody who is superior to you then duryodhana said no gurudev <laughs> there is no one superior to me because as in bollywood they have this song na i am the best i am the best i am the best i used to hear this in my childhood <laughs> then dronacharya smiled and he said what makes you think that you are the best then duryodhana said i don't know the moment i see somebody i will see some fault they have some shortcoming basically which i don't have na only they have so that's the difference between uh, duryodhana and yudhishthir of course the important thing here to uh, understand is not how duryodhana was inferior to yudhishthir or how yudhishthir was superior to him that's not the point here the point here is to understand that when there is greatness inside you when there is goodness the only thing you see in others is goodness which is which is yudhishthir and when there is poison inside you negativity envy malice yes all these things which are there inside you then you only see those things outside and duryodhana is the epitome of all the negative qualities so the only thing he used to see outside is negativity that is why he used to think i am the best i am the best i am the best and yudhishthir wherever he saw anything he saw oh this person has so many good qualities which i don't have yes so that means he must be superior to me so how can i give this pot to anybody because there is nobody who is inferior to me i am the most fallen and this is not in- inferiority complex this is humility there is a very thin line of difference between humility and inferiority complex yes humility means when you are great you still feel others are greater than you even if they are not but inferiority complex means you are inferior and you feel inferior <laughs> yes that's the difference between humility and inferiority complex so yudhishthir maharaj is known as dharma raj he is the perfection of perfectionism <laughs> there is nobody like him the mahabharat does not coin anybody dharmaraj nobody it coins the word mahatma to vidur but dharmaraj only yudhishthir no way nobody else not even arjuna not bhima nobody so that's the lesson here when there is good inside you the only thing you see is good and when you have bad inside you which duryodhana exemplifies through his actions of course from uh, his childhood itself when they tried to poison bhima yes so that's the lesson which has to be learned here yes and now i know the moment i uh, upload this video there will be so many people who will be commenting oh you should not say like this that duryodhana was a bad person na you should try to see uh, good in the bad also well you can type whatever you want it doesn't affect me okay all right that's what i wanted to say in this video so this is the funny story both of them came back with the pots because one thought i am the best and the other thought i am the most fallen personality in this planet all right so there you go difference between yudhishthir and duryodhana and then as soon as dronacharya 
asked both of them uh, Duryodhana gave the gave his answer and Yudhishthir gave his answer then the Pandavas their head was held high and the Kalavas their head was hanging down in shame by seeing this uh, this action of their leader no? who thinks that he is the best there is nobody superior to him he is the top post I am the best I am the best I am the best <laughs> all right if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a personal consultation then please approach me to my website and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who wants to know the difference between good and bad or who wants to hear a funny story although not, not although there's nothing much funny in this all right all right see you next time with another video bye bye